this is basically going to be a video for those who are still struggling with the elusive realm especially mainly for difficulty 5 level 70 a lot of you guys might not have this done and if we take a look here you might wonder which character should you use if you have geon geon's broken right once you get his character upgrades and stuff he is absolutely broken tau chi is a good choice very good choice she's very strong and versatile she can do pretty much everything keep you alive counter has good damage yang yang is also a good option but for the sake of the video we're gonna use we're gonna be using spectro mc everybody has spectro mc okay one thing to take note is that only the weapon on the mc really matters um your echoes don't matter so that's that everything else does matter the only thing that doesn't are the echoes so make sure you have a good sword honor or him another thing to take note is that having upgrades here these guaranteed buffs are always good as well so uh if you don't have a lot of those already just keep doing the lower tier upgrades uh so that you can actually buy a lot of those upgrades so this is going to be a quick guide on how to do it it's very easy and i'll show you how starting off this is the echo selection if you do not have the turtle echo, you need to restart. So we're going to restart real quick. He's bouncing off my booty cheeks. I love the way he runs. God damn it. We didn't get it again. God damn, bro. It's not giving me the echo. There we go. Bellborn Geo Shalone is what you want. And the reason is because this thing is absolutely broken. It provides shields, heals, and everything else. Very good survivability. As for the uh, secondary character you want, choose Marina if you have her. Um, another good option is San Hua because of the ice points here. What you really want to do, and I'm sure you guys already know, is that you want to get what the Echo wants. As for character upgrades, if you're using MC, the heavy attack thing where you throw out more swords is really, really good. So we're going with that. It's going to be rather slow for a little bit at the beginning, but... That's fine. Now, one thing to keep in mind is you got to look around every domain that you enter and try and find these rocks with runes. These are important because they can give you fragments and at times they can also give you cats, which equate to more buffs. As always, we're going to do more ice so that we can get more upgrades faster. For the domains, I always like to choose Fierce Struggle because it just works, all right? There's a bunch of upgrades you can get in here, and it's just nice. As always, we're looking for rocks to see if we can find any. There's one hidden down here. Go ahead and grab that. Gave us fragments. I'm going to try and reroll to see if I can get more shield. There we go. Yep, yep. Um, We are going to go ahead and do this first one here, Shatter Effect. Once again, there's this rock. Gave us a cat um i'm gonna try and reroll see if i get lucky i did all right so we're gonna do a uh, crit damage increase right here let's do this middle one all right there we go we got our second upgrade sweet fear struggle again i always av avoid unknown because unknown is just ass once again break these rocks boom there's one up here that i'm gonna break real quick boom i'm gonna grab this ice one grab this rock right here boom giving us a cat i love it let's refresh Let's refresh again. Okay, so we'll grab the Electro one since we're going to need those anyway. All right, talk to this other cat. Ooh, a three, a three fur right here. Of course, we're grabbing that. All right, first boss fight, pretty easy. Especially if it's the impermanent heroine. Easy. Ah, ah. Easy, just like that. Very, very easy stuff. Um, ooh, we got more three furs. Okay, so let's do when HP is at 100%. Okay, that should be easy because, you know, just dodge. Lamal. Um, here we're going to do... I'll do this top one. Big one because it basically does two ults, which is insane. There are no rocks in the boss room, if you're curious. As far as I know, there's none. Or in the rest area as well, there's, there's no rocks, as you can clearly see. All right, so here we're going to grab San Juan for the, the ice transaction. My general rule of thumb is just to buy the ones that are ice and electro. It's the way to go. Now, I'm not going to right now, but uh, if you have enough points, it can be argued to buy one of these. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and save. Fear struggle once again. All right, there's a rock right here. We're gonna grab that. Gives us cat. That's epic. I'm gonna refresh. Gonna refresh again. Okay, so we got electro here. Ult is more damage. More damage. Yep, I like that. More damage. Ult. Um, I'm gonna risk it and refresh again. Okay, so that was a bad. That was bad. Should have just waited and chose ice. But I'll just grab the attack. That'll be fine. We're gonna ult up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. As you can see, we're smooth and maneuvering. All right, we're gonna grab the ice regardless. There's no rocks. All right. Fierce struggle. Ooh, three electro. Ah, we'll be fine. Give, give me uh, ice. Damn it. No ice. All right, so we're going to do, I guess, this last one here. Memory of training because, once again, unknown sucks. All right, here we're going to do... I'm going to go ahead and do the middle one here just because it's new. We're going to go... How many How many coins do I have? 1,600. I'm going to go rest, actually. So then I can just buy the rest of my upgrades. All right, so here we're going to do... Damn, there's no ice in here? All right. I guess we're going to grab this fire one here. That'll be fine. And then second boss fight it is... It's going to be... Monkey. Monkey's pretty damn easy. I fought this guy so many times. All right. Easy. Uh-huh. All right, cat... Please look I'm being risky. I want Ice there we go. That was worth it. All right basic attack increase resonance echoes will generate two extra sword wheels uh, We'll do this bottom one uh, fierce struggle Yeah, another cool thing about this echo is that you get blinded. I love it I love getting flashbang talk to the cat see if we can get another ice Okay, we did. All right, so now we only need two more. We should be able to get that just fine. Another cat. Let's refresh, see if we get another ice. There we go, now we all, now we need one more. That's it. And flashbang, yeah, we love it. Look how bright that is. <laughs> Easy. Grab the cat, see if we can get one more ice. Uh, ooh, that energy regen kind of nice. We'll get we'll get the ice before we even go. I'm sure we can just buy it. I like that uh energy regen though. You can see that my game is starting to be a little framey because how much shit is going on. Um, we can get our last ice. There we go. And now we're pretty much free to get whatever we want. Um, from this point, I suggest getting anything that'll give you more damage because. More damage is always nice. So typically that's going to be the fusion ones. So just grab those if they sound good to you. Resonance liberation is increased. Ooh, I like that. Uh, yeah, Electro has good damage buffs as well. Oh yeah. Dude, this Echo is actually so overpowered though. Um, Let's see. Let's see if we can get a three for here. Ooh. Yeah, this this dusty book upgrade too is also insane, especially for the setup that we got going on. Oh, dude, let's do this middle one here, this three for electro one. All right, now it's time to rest, and we can buy whatever we want. Come to this guy. Um, typically, best thing to do here is just buy everything that sounds good. Resin skill damage increased, more liberation damage. And this one's a good pick too here, so it heals you if you get hit. Um, but if you're good at dodging, it doesn't really matter. Um, we only have 300 left, so I guess we'll just buy, we'll buy this, I guess. And that's all. All right, that's all she wrote. Um, if you want to take a look at what we have here, we have all the upgrades for the turtle. We have basic heavy upgrade, liberation upgrade, special enhancement upgrade. Uh, basic attack, special enhancement upgrade. Uh, these are stats, nothing crazy. Um, these are the buffs that we have. Just going to quickly go through them. Very good stuff that we have here. It should be pretty, pretty easy. So, just a basic rundown again. Get every ice that you see, and when you need to, grab every electro you see, um, and then 
hopefully near the last stage you should get your shit completed so you're able to grab more buffs that are more you know damage based so that is good stuff and uh in the boss fight itself you want to typically just uh have your your echo up there and have its uptime easy stuff and then you just want to go ham this bird is unfortunate. I don't know if this is guaranteed based on who you uh you pick, but like the fact that it is the spectral bird and we're spectral MC is a little a little ludicrous. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we might be uh cutting it close. Now there's shit raining from the sky, so we really have to try and be careful. Dude, my game is really framey because there is so much happening. Oh, we gotta lock in. Alright, his attack is greatly, greatly increased, so we gotta keep up the dodges. Oh my god, my game is so framey. All right, there we go. This should be the final stretch. There we go. All right. That bird actually gets really crazy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure if you get that bird every time, but if so, um, you really, you can really just go ham until it starts raining down all that shit that it was doing especially if, if you take a bit longer than you know the timer you really gotta lock in and since there's so much stuff happening you can pretty much dodge everything and uh yeah as long as you do that you can iframe a lot of the stuff you really gotta just you know lock in sit up in your chair and get serious it's it's not too bad it really isn't so tldr Grab the Bellborn Echo, very OP. Grab as many ice buffs as you see to get the the upgrades and then grab Electro when you need to get the required upgrades that need the Electro. And then hopefully near the end on the last stage, you end up getting everything required so that you're able to get more damage focused buffs, you know, of your choosing. So very good stuff and the, the turtle is just OP. And you don't necessarily have to use Spectro MC. It's just the easiest character to probably use. Um, I did use uh, Yang Yang actually for my first time completion of this and she was only level 49. So she works very well. If you have Tao Chi built, she's very good as well. Yeah, you do that and uh, you should be able to grab everything, you know very easy stuff just farm up um after you beat it you really don't have to do it again uh, you can just do level 65 if you wanted to it's a lot easier and the difference in rewards isn't that huge uh this is mainly just first time completion so i hope this video helps you guys let me know if it does <laughs> any questions i'll try and answer them the best i can so yeah hope you enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye